There was a lot of superhero actors in this movie, so superheroes. And this review will be a lot shorter because I just don't have as much to say about a film this average. Twelve Strong tells a unique story because it's about the Special Forces horse soldiers who were the first responders to terrorism after 9-11 in the Middle East. It goes into a lot more than that, with them working with local warlords and militia to fight Al-Qaeda, but it all moves so fast that it can be a little tough to follow the exact details, even though you know what's going on. And from there we have the desert, military dialogue, more military dialogue, very abrupt character building scenes, and then action on all fronts for a short time then more horse riding, and then the big wall scene that just lasts way too long and could have been more interesting. This all sounds harsh, but it was entertaining. It was well done. It was tense and I was on the edge of my seat a few times, but the pacing was rough and it was nothing I hadn't seen before. If they could have spent more time on character building, I would have been more invested. There simply wasn't enough. I don't even really remember the names of their characters, and I didn't in the movie for sure until the end of the film when I saw them in the credits. Not a bad movie by any stretch, just a perfectly average one with a unique historical concept I wanted to check out. And Michael Shannon shouldn't have been billed that high up because, well, he wasn't even in the film that much. There was a good sense of camaraderie with the cast, and it was funny when they were bantering with one another over and over. It felt human, which is what this movie needed more of. It's almost like this movie was trying to be Lone Survivor and Black Hawk Down all at once and didn't match the tense tone or emotional heights of either one of those fantastic war films. There was a lot of wasted potential here. What was good was just good, and what it lacked, it definitely lacked. Nothing outright bad, but there are far better made war films out there that are much more gripping and far less boring. So I'm sort of 50-50 on this one, which means I give 12 Strong a 5 out of 10. Please subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and don't hate me for this score.